Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. It's officially spring, and I'll tell you, uh, been looking forward to spring all winter long, as you know, I'm sure a lot of you have. So we got a couple things to wrap up here. We uh, a lot of spring cleaning to do, a lot of things to uh, to be done. But the first thing I wanted to get to today is, uh, you know, that piece of molding for my sister's fireplace. She gave me a, 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 t a challenge, more or less. Uh, her fireplace was always missing one little f a molding cap. And uh, she said, do you think you could put something there? So I popped the other one off. She said, I don't care what it looks like, just something to cover up that that area. And I said, yeah, I think we c I was going to try and make an exact duplicate, but I, the timeline has been moved up. Uh, I got to see this week. So let's see what we can do. Let's let's knock something out. Okay, so here's our project. You remember this from uh, a couple weeks ago. This is from my sister's fireplace mantle. Um, one on each side. They were just a kind of an ornate carving just to cover up these pot, spots that were there. One was missing always and it always bothered her. She don't care what is there. She just wants something to cover it up. It doesn't have to look anything like so. I was going to try and copy this, but now the timeline's been moved up. I don't have that kind of time. I have to make something today that kind of looks decorative, you know? So uh, this is what I've come up with. I went through my, you know, whatever I have down here. I got some stuff and I came up with this, <laughs> believe it or not. You're like, what the heck are you going to do with that? Let's see what we can do. Now... <laughs> You remember that show Junkyard Wars <laughs> when these guys had a, it was a, a British show, I think, and these guys had to go into the junkyard and come up with like all different parts and make something. Okay, this is the Junkyard episode here at the Scoutcrafter channel. Now, uh, like I said, I just picked these out of some scraps I had. This is what we, we got to have something that will cover that spot. I'm going to start off with some nice straight grain pine and cut out this shape. So let's do okay, that. Okay, this is what I'm looking at here. Now, what I want to do is I want to recess these. These are wheels, you know, toy wheels. I want to recess them into there. So I'm going to use a spade bit to, uh, to make a hole, okay, a little hole to recess them a little bit to make it look a little bit more like it was one piece. And uh, to recess it, now I gotta make that hole directly in the middle of that. I'm gonna use what's called a transfer this punch. This is a transfer punch set. Comes in handy, not all the time, but when you need it, it really does. And what this does will transfer the center of that hole. You see, it's got a little nib on the front. So when you put this down over here, and we wanna transfer that to the middle where we get, when we have it set, we just put just like this. We give it a little tap and that'll make the perfect hole right where we want it. Transfer. Okay, punch. next up we have our marks and everything. Now, you can see this is quite a bit thicker than this piece, so we got to cut this. We got to thin it out a little bit. Now, a lot of you don't have table saws. The easiest way is to rip it through a table saw, but if you don't have a table saw, what do you do? I'm going to show you. Now, you get the approximate width of this that you want, and that's when you use this tool here. It's a scribe here. Okay, so you see that little uh, point in there. So now we're going to. We want it to be about this thick. We're going to run this scribe down the edge of the wood here, okay? And we're going to use it on a slant. You see how we don't have this facing straight down? It's on a slant. And the reason that is because it helps you to run it down the middle here, okay? Well, we don't want it the middle, but the, the length we want. So you run it down a couple times. Usually three is enough to make a nice indentation into that wood, okay? Then you can barely see that line. Now to thicken that line, you just take a pencil and you're going to run it in that line. Okay, that's so you could see it. We're going to take it like that, run that pencil up a couple times. There's our line. We're going to do that all the way around the wood. And I'll show you. Here we why. go. We've got it marked all the way around where we want because we want it to be about that thick. You got to take into consideration the kerf of your saw which we did already. So this is just where we want it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the vise and we're gonna saw uh, along the line. Okay, you can see we, we cut a line, uh, a saw kerf in the top, a saw kerf in the bottom. Now we're, the, the reason we did that is because when we put this in a vise like this, these two kerfs will guide the saw straight down and give us a nice clean cut. 
Okay, so anybody who's ever tried to thin stock before knows how difficult that can be. But look at this. We got two, two pieces. This one, obviously, we're not going to use, but this is the thickness we wanted. You can always plane this down or give it a quick sanding, but that is absolutely acceptable. And now we were going to cut those recesses in here. Okay, do you see where we're going with this now? These will go in the recess, and so they'll look better. Now, what we want to do, we got to plug these holes, okay? Now, I have axles. That looks, I wanted to put these caps in here, but again, we got to recess that to go down. So, we're going to have to drill this out to this size here, and then we'll push those plugs in there and that'll look like a little rosette more or less. Okay now to enlarge this hole I could do it on the lathe again I'm trying to do this with things you might have around the house we're going to use a step drill absolutely fantastic drill bit we're going to go in nice and slow here and enlarge this to a half inch and uh, and then we'll try out that uh, plug. Okay so there we go with the step drill what a beautiful hole that drills huh and here's the plug plug will go in here it's almost like a press fit because it's so the tolerances then we'll press that in it'll look like a little rosette see where we're going with this right okay we're ready to cut out the shape now and uh the first thing you have to do is tension your blade on the uh scroll saw now you can see that's loose now there's a little knob back here that that's the tensioner as you turn that and flick the blade you'll wait till you get it nice and tight and listen to the difference in sound Me, 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 me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we glued them down. Now we'll give it about an hour to dry and then we'll try and get some stain on here. Everything's coming good. Okay, the glue is dried. Here we go. This is what we have here. Now, again, this is replacing this on there. Now, the problem is that we're going to have is, is getting this to match the color, okay? We need this to match that dark surrounding part of that uh, mantle. And because you have multiple different woods, here, different kind of woods here, we have this type of wood, this type of wood, this, it's all going to absorb stain. And I think this one might have been shellac, this rosette, because I remember years ago, I was going to experiment with something. I might have put a coat of shellac. So that's either way, it's going to be difficult to get a stain to penetrate. Stain will not penetrate hardwood like it will softwood. So we might have to do a paint, which is called a faux finish now i'm going to stain this first just to show you that it will not it will not stain evenly but we can always paint over the areas that aren't stained okay so here we are we're going to put the stain on here and uh, i'm going to come back with a brush but we're just going to put it on first with a and we're going to do everything okay the sides the edges but you see it's not going to absorb that well because, like I said, some hardwoods are different than light woods, but sometimes you can uh, apply it a little bit heavier or in multiple coats and darken it up that way. So first we're going to cover it like this, then we're going to come back with a brush and get in between the areas that we couldn't get before. Okay, here we have the stain. You see the differences here? You see the difference how this absorbed differently than this and the flower in the back? You know, so it's it's three different woods, three different colors. That's how stain works. Don't look bad if, if you were making furniture, you could, but you could see it's not going to match this. It has to be dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix a faux finish and we're going to use a paint. And uh, I'll show you. This is the fun where you match paint. I love matching. Now you can mix brand... Uh, brown paint using blue red and uh and yellow to make a brown but I, i'm lucky enough to have some burnt sienna so we'll start with this now we just got to darken it up a little bit because we want to match this color here this color okay so you could see it's uh we got to darken it up a little bit you just add a little black but you got to be very careful with the black because it's very strong so we'll mix a little bit we'll test and then we'll we'll paint here Okay, you see how we mix the the brown? Here's a little bit of black, a very little bit. You see how we got that nice and dark now? And again, we use the back of the piece to test the color. You see that's a, a dark finish. Now, we can always lighten it up a little bit with a little brown, 
but uh, that's going to be good. And we're going to paint this over with this color, brush it in good with a, a watery mix so that it absorbs. Okay, now you see how there's a little bit of a dark, like a black in here. That's where you just dip into the black section that you have here. You see this little black area? You And you almost dry brush it on the bottom. Because you see on the bottom it looks a little blackish, you know. So you dry brush a little black into the brown. And that'll darken it up. And you just work it back and forth until you get an approximate color. Now, when this dries, it'll dry flat. Right now it's shiny and it looks a little different to you back there. But you're just trying to get these brush strokes out of there. Remember, it looks kind of old because it's checkered. Make sure you don't have too much paint in the rosette so that they show up a little bit. You can always darken, put a little black in there to make it, you know, kind of look aged. And uh, we'll let that dry. It's coming okay, along. Okay, here we are. They're dry. And you can see they flattened out, you know, as far as the, uh, there's no more shine. But this did have a little bit of a shine to it, you know. So we're going to have to put a little bit. So I have this Deft. Deft is a great, uh, it's a semi-gloss clear a lacquer. This will dry real quick. Put just a little bit of a sheen on. And we can always dull out the sheen if we wanted to a little bit. But we're going to spray that now. And then now, let whenever that Whenever you hear me talk about drying it on the furnace, what I do is I take a box, put it over the vents here like this, and that will dry and give it a nice, even dry. And we're calling this project done. Now, I have no idea if this is going to, uh, how it's going to fit until next week when I get up there. But uh, these are definitely, in my opinion, they're a nice replacement for that. And... Uh, I think they'll look good on there. It does. It looks almost like hand carved something. It doesn't. We never think it was uh, made from bits and pieces I had laying around the shop. But uh, this one's in the can. Fun project. Glad to get it done. Okay. So in closing, uh, that was a fun project from uh, start to finish. And like I said, my sister really don't care what it looks like as long as it's, <laughs> it's something to cover it up. But I wanted to keep it looking somewhat. Period. I will uh, next week when I go up there and install it. I will take a picture and show you what it looks like. Hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks very much for tuning in. Take care now. Bye-bye.